let us solve three more questions in efficiency in the first question percentage resistance and percentage reactance they have given of uh, transformer are 2 and 10 percent and if the constant loss in machine is 1 percent the maximum possible efficiency of transformer is okay now i will like you know i will uh, solve this question in a single step after that let me explain okay so see here 0.707 so efficiency maximum should be 0 0.707 by 0.727 answer is going to be 97.25 percent okay actually in gate though it's two mark question two mark question like you know in gate we are supposed to solve this way only now let me explain this how i got this okay so kva at which max efficiency occur equal to in per units indirectly let me solve in per unit so this 10 kva is not at all required of course you can use 10 kva also but it's not like kva at which max efficiency occur in per unit is what kva at which max efficiency occur divided by kva rated equal to under root of core loss divided by copper loss full load now core loss how much they have given the machine core loss are one percent okay so this is going to be one one percent divided by copper loss full load is nothing but re per unit okay i think you might have forgotten let me explain again re per unit equal to re divided by z base okay into ifl square divided by i base into i base okay z base into i base is going to be v base v base into i base is nothing but va base now va base is nothing but va rated for a transformer okay now ifl square re ifl square re is what copper loss full load copper loss full load divided by va rated of course we discussed this previously also but let me repeat it again okay copper loss full load in watts divided by va base will give you copper loss full load per unit okay so means re per unit they have given two percent means that copper loss full load in per unit will be two percent same is going to be 0 0.707 okay now efficiency maximum maximum possible efficiency okay so maximum possible efficiency in the sense maximum efficiency will occur when core loss equals cover loss okay and a maximum possible efficiency unity power factor so maximum efficiency at unity power factor equal to output by output plus losses output is 0 0.707 kva in per unit sorry 0 0.707 kva in per unit okay into unity power factor divided by 0 0.707 into unity power factor plus two times core loss okay because at max efficiency core loss equals copper loss or two times core loss two into core loss is one percent two into 0 0.01 is going to be 0 0.707 by 0 0.727 that's it okay of course btech students may not be able to like you know they may be they may not be comfort comfortable in solving per units for them kva at which max efficiency occur equal to kva rated which is 10 into under root of 1 by 2 same will give you 7.07 kva so here 7.07 7.07 2 into 0 0.01 1 percent of rated kva is nothing but core loss 2 into 0 0.01 1 percent of core loss okay into means 10 kva okay answer is going to be the same okay so answer will be 97.25 now let me take one more question in this question 500 kva three phase forget about three phase okay it's not required has iron loss of 300 watt and full load copper loss of 600 watt copper loss full load or not yes full load they have given the percentage of load at which the transformer is expected to have maximum efficiency so kva at which maximum efficiency occur in per unit or percent equal to under root of core loss divided by copper loss full load core loss is how much 300 divided by copper loss full load is 600 under root is going to be 0 0.707 okay so 70.7 percent of rated kva max efficiency will occur now let me take one more question 
okay in this question the efficiency of a 100 kva transformer is 0.98 at full load as well as it half full load okay so efficiency is maximum uh, sorry efficiency is 98 percent at both full load and half full load efficiency okay now he did not discuss or he did not say anything about power factor so power factor should be considered as constant so power factor is constant i2 okay now efficiency is 98 percent this is 98 percent at full load and also at half full load half full load now when max efficiency will occur max efficiency should occur between half full load and full load okay maybe in between these two max efficiency is going to occur now let me think of kva at which max efficiency occur maybe in per unit okay equal to under root of core loss divided by copper loss full load okay in per unit now kva at which max efficiency occur should be less than one or not yes so it should be less than one per unit okay so if it is less than one per unit core loss divided by copper loss full load should be less than one means square in both sides so core loss should be less than copper loss full load okay so for this transformer full load copper loss full load copper loss should be more than core loss more than core loss okay in this way like you know problems are simple only just like you know we need not remember multiple formulas and all very easily we can solve gate